Texan 1101 is a novel potent potassium channel opener uh, and it's in the development uh, for the treatment of epilepsy and for other diseases um, and there has been a large phase to be study uh, with quite um, positive and impressing uh, results so and um, our poster was about a um, post hoc analysis um, from the open label extension of this drug. As you know, we aim at achieving seizure freedom uh, in patients with epilepsy or at least a marked reduction in seizure frequency um, if seizure, fre seizure freedom cannot be achieved. And um, in a balance uh, with a high tolerability of a drug. So um, the most important goal of all is to improve the quality of life of persons with epilepsy. And um, regularly, this is being measured in clinical trials um, and, and also sometimes in clinical practice um, by the Quality 31, the quality of life instrument uh, in epilepsy with 31 items. As it is usual, after the completion of a double blind trial, uh, it's possible, it's an option for the study participants to continue in an open label extension study. And um, of the 285 patients who completed uh, the double blind phase of the study, um, more than 96%, i.e. 275 patients entered the open label extension. And, um, well, uh, the open label extension runs now for a couple of years, uh, but we present data on the first year of the open label extension. So, uh, the Quality 31 has been administered um, at baseline visit for the double blind phase at the end of double blind phase and then in three months intervals for the first year of the open label extension. So um, what and, and for the analysis, we looked at the overall population and especially at the seizure free group. And um, I uh, can tell you uh, that both groups had the lowest mean quality 31 scores um, at baseline for the seizure worry subscale um, and the highest score uh, was for emotional well-being. Um, so on follow-up um, there were improvements in the mean quality 31 total score and most uh, subscales at the end of the double blind phase and during the first 12 months and the uh, during the open label extension compared to baseline um, and there was a difference between the overall group and the seizure free group um, this means uh, well what you look at is um, uh, there are defined thresholds for clinically important uh, improvements for the minimal, Im uh, minimal important changes. Um, and um, there were um, in both groups um, important changes in seizure worry and social functioning and medi uh, medication effects. Um, and there were even higher and, and better and more improvements for the seizure free group. So. Um, I have to, um, well, before I get to the limitations, I will uh, talk about, um, yeah, the meaning of the findings. It means um, many aspects of the Quali 31 have been improved from baseline of the double blind phase throughout the open label extension first year. Um, well, uh, this study has a limitation and that is uh, we did not delineate uh, between those patients who were 
on uh, the study drug from uh, the beginning of the uh, double blind phase and those who were on placebo. So that is something uh, that we will have to do for further studies uh, with the compound. And of course, um, we, um, uh, yes, it's, um, I think it's a finding you can see with many other aspects in drug trials um, that um, seizure-free patients have a higher benefit um, in diverse uh, diverse domains of the daily living. Um, so we differentiated that, but there are certainly um, other things we could look at, like what about different degrees of response? What about the 50% responders, 90% responders as compared to the non-responders, or maybe even going into co-medication and so on? So um, there's a good field um, of um, yeah research required.